Hey guys, it's Tuesday, back with another food vlog. Actually, we're in Changi City Point today and we're going to try something different, something unique than our usual food vlog so far. So let's see what we try. The place literally looks like heaven for me. And there's Vietnamese, there's Japanese, there's Western fried chicken and there's this, this big food court. Let's go check out the food courts if there's something for us to try out today. There is a lot of stuff out here and I'm very confused however I just noticed I saw something which they call as the best fried chicken in the world and it's not Texas fried chicken guys sorry so let's go right now it's not on this floor but you can see this somewhere in this video so we're going there and I'll show you the name once we're there so apparently the place is called Jollibee and it started in Philippines it started as a small pan copycat of KFC However, it rose up to be probably better than KFC. A lot of fans of Jollibee say they love it more than KFC. And it's not just the Filipinos, even other people can also enjoy this taste. So let's try and see if we enjoy this taste. And there's not just fried chicken, the other stuff in the menu. We're going to try one piece of fried chicken and something else today. So we're going to order, as I said, one piece chicken with some other thing and I think I've decided. So one piece chicken with spaghetti. So one piece chicken with spaghetti and uh, drink. The drink converted to uh, make it spicy. spicy. Apparently there was a huge waiting time and me being the only guy who came here today, we got this course in little place for ourselves. And uh, those who are waiting for tables are still waiting. I think it's about 20 minutes or plus wait time, guys. So lucky that I'm alone. So the food is finally here, and I'm really loving the atmosphere here, guys. Uh, just to show you guys, that's the spaghetti that I was talking about. And my favorite chicken, fried chicken. Let's see if it's the best in the world. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. I'm good. Cheers, guys. I must have eaten this over a hundred times now, and every time I eat this, saliva just flows throughout my mouth. I really cannot express this in words, guys. Probably, I'm, I'm asked to live with it in the one month, one stop, I think I can live with it. Let's try the chicken. Usually, Filipinos they love to eat it with this sauce, but me, I like it raw, just like that. It's very spicy. And so juicy, so tender. So well cooked. No wonder they say it's the best chicken compared to KFC. And though I'm not a fried chicken fan, I think I can still eat Jollibee chicken over KFC. If you ever come to Singapore, you must try Jollibee at least once. That was so satisfying guys and I think I still something lacks so I think I'll try the dessert if there's a dessert let's see if there's a dessert as I said something was missing and I think that was a dessert we're having our ice cream and if you look at the chocolate sauce it's actually very hot so when I boiled the cup for the first time the ice cream was so cold below at the same time I was feeling something very very hot 
the town. So I was wondering if it is really hot. It's really It's not as sweet as McDonald's. There's McDonald's Sunday. It's not as sweet as McDonald's. It's a lot creamier and the sauce is very very thick. I think McDonald's sauce is also equally thick. After mixing the chocolate sauce, the taste elevates to the next level guys. So if the actual taste as per you is 10 on 10, mixing with chocolate sauce makes it 15 on 10. Thank you so much. So that's how our Tuesday vlog ended guys. I really enjoyed the meal and if you like the video, please share this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and invite your friends to subscribe to our channel.